Welcome to another episode of Looking Back with the Trojan Pan. Today we'll be looking at one of my favorite cooking shows as a kid, though not from PBS, which is where most of those cooking shows came from that are some of my favorites. This one actually was aired as reruns on Food Network between the late 90s and early 2000s, very early in the morning, where I did record some of these episodes. It is The Galloping Gourmet with Graham Kerr. Now, The Galloping Gourmet is going to be shown all the way through in this episode with commercials from Food Network, and it also includes the ending of another show with its credits lasting just a couple minutes before leading into The Galloping Gourmet episode. I hope you enjoy. Maybe next time when we'll discover some great things that can happen in your kitchen when East meets West. Tonight on Food Network, Wolfgang's having fun with his good friend, Julia Child. Not bad for two amateur cooks, see? When these culinary masters get together, there's no telling what they'll cook up. Wolfgang Pop, tonight at 9 on Food Network. People are buying thousands of new Oldsmobiles every month. Which explains why we're building thousands every month. And for a limited time, qualified buyers can get great 0% APR financing on every new 2002 Oldsmobile, plus the confidence of a five-year, 60,000-mile General Motors protection plan. Are you in the market? Get it an Oldsmobile, backed by GM. A Food Network special, Kaga's Gone French. Cooking up a night of French battle. First up, Kitchen Stadium. Dream Team France versus Dream Team Chinese. Then the main event. The Iron Chefs in Bay, France. Taking on the world's best chefs. On their turf. Iron Chef 2000 Plate Special. And the premiere of Iron Chef France Battle. Starting Sunday night at 7 on Food Network. Thank you so much for being here once again, for coming along for, by mule train, dusty locomotive, wind-strewn roads, leaves, mud pools, puddings, rice, and every other obstacle you can think of. And thank you for sitting where you are at the moment. And thank the person who locked you in. <laughs> Hello. Gosh, this is me. Uh, <laughs> once again, English to the core apples today. <laughs> Cox's orange pippin. Didn't know that, did you? Right, we're off to Zurich because that's where they have the most beautiful apple dish at the railway station. It's true. That's the railway station, first class, KL, K-L-A-S-S. -S. Yeah. <laughs> Trina and I tried it for the first time, unisex. <laughs> It is. Look at the way we look at each other. Um, that is the restaurant manager with a bit, the man with a big mouth there. <laughs> look, he's laughing. He knew I'd say that. Now, he's a lovely fellow. I'm laughing too. We're all laughing. That's the way to get on with the Swiss. Um, and he's drinking. 
Uh, that's a lovely wine. That, that, that's a Rudersheimer. That's German. Now watch this. You smell the apple first. I designed this dish, by the way, for them. You let it sink down. Your wife eats it too. She doesn't know what it's all about. He did it. Peace. <laughs> so then we went out to the railway station because, well, we didn't know why we'd gone there to eat anyway. So here are all these people with skis. There wasn't any snow. There's Trina. Now, what do you do that's funny in a railway station? You call somebody up. There's me making a phone call. Now, this is supposed to be funny. I'm calling Trina. <laughs> she didn't know that I was calling her. Then she turned round, and there I was. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> no, you don't. I don't think it's funny, so why should you applaud? That's the mafia. They, no, they meet in the railway station. This is funny. This is a piece of real Chaplin-esque humour. That's a stamp machine. <laughs> Somebody takes the stamp out, you see, when I was being funny. And Trina stuck it to my forehead and was going to post me. <laughs> Go on, now turn around. That's right, fireman's lift. OK, so when we were in Zurich, we went to the cinema. <coughs> Excuse me whilst I move the old furniture around a bit. We went to the cinema, we went to see airports. I don't know, have you been to see airport, anybody? Yeah. Yeah. It was just as bad in Swiss as it was in English. <coughs> Dean Martin was appalling that he'd been at the Kirschwasser. Right, so there were three, uh, it was in mid stalls, that's the only place we could get. And we were shown down the mid stalls and we came down to here, and there was this fellow lying across these three things, going... <laughs> well, I mean, really. I mean, you don't expect that sort of thing, you know. So I turned to Trina and I said, shall I say something? She said, yes. I said, look, my dear fellow, would you mind sitting in one of those seats so we can sit by your side? And he replied, <laughs> So I did what any good Englishman should do abroad. Um, and I went to get the manager. And the manager came down and he said to this fellow, who was still groaning away, Are you a sit up or is a chair there? Make sure that you sit up because these two nice English people would like to sit here and watch the movie. <laughs> to which he replied <laughs> the manager then said to him if you do not move yourself I will catch a policeman it's better than catching a cold the man didn't reply very much just the usual grunt and groan and the manager went off and came up with the police and the police went hello 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 they're like that all over the world you know <laughs> what's this here to which the man replied <laughs> if you don't give me your name i'll book you <laughs> right where do you come from <laughs> the balcony <laughs> It's not just the restaurants or the celebrities I get to meet. <laughs> it's about the real people that share the passion for good food and good times. It doesn't get any better than this. Emro Live, weeknights at 8 on Food Network. Forget everything you think you know about slipcovers. At SureFit Slipcovers by Mail, we've rewritten the book on them. A whole new catalog of incredible slip-on coverings. Don't spend a fortune replacing your furniture. Now you can fall in love with it all over again with the patented one-piece easy-to-apply slipcovers from SureFit. Oh, we needed a new couch, but with young kids, we didn't know how long it was going to look new. Then we discovered SureFit and found the perfect solution. Now we have this beautiful new look with these fantastic covers that are so easy to put on, durable and easy to clean. It used to be so frustrating trying to keep the couch clean with the kids and the dog. Now I just toss the covers in the wash and they're like new again. And the best part is that because SureFit slip covers are so affordable, 
we bought two sets so we can change our look whenever we like. Call right now for your free catalog and see how SureFit is the perfect fit for your lifestyle. I love my couch, but the pattern was all wrong for my new place. My SureFit slipcover was the perfect answer. I still have my favorite couch, but with a whole new look. Whether it's sofa beds, leather furniture, or oversized chairs, SureFit slipcovers look beautiful, and they're priced to fit any budget. Our unique patented one-piece design makes putting on your new covers as easy as one, two, three. And once they're on, they stay in place, even if you don't. At SureFit, we promise we'll change the way you look at slipcovers forever. So call now. We'll rush you our new catalog. It's filled with patterns, textures, and colors, all designed with you in mind. For your free SureFit catalog, call 1-800-847-4466 or visit our website at www.surefit.com. Call now, 1-800-847-4466. Hi, I'm Mario Vitale. You're watching Food Network. This is a frightfully interesting dish. You need for this an orange bowl for the start, or commode, and into that you put, out of a green bowl, eight ounces of all-purpose um, um, flour, um, which incidentally is not altogether correct. Uh, <coughs> eight ounces of flour is two cups. It's not altogether correct because it's all-purpose, and I tried to mend our roof with it the other day, and it washed out of the hole. Now, I, I, I'm serious about this. If, if you claim something to be all-purpose, it should be all-purpose. I don't see anything to laugh at at all. I'm actually quite mad about the whole business. So I take my little plastic kitchen aid scraper and put the butter, which is four ounces exactly, in tiny cubes and add two ounces of cheddar cheese, finely, gra finely grated in on top of that. Now that the fat content of that is six to eight. Six minutes to eight. <gasps> Time to go to bed. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Take your enlarged knuckle dusters and hoe in. Mm, hoe in, hoe in, tis off to work we go. Hoey ho, hey ho, I'm sneezy, he's droopy. <laughs> He's grumpy. He's smashed. <laughs> Didn't know that. Eight, eight of them. Bet you can't name me the seven, the seven, um, <laughs> dwarfs. <laughs> I was thinking of the sins. Um, <laughs> funny how I was getting around to thinking of that the sooner or later. Um, okay, so having kneaded all that in, past that little bit which goes on the side in there. Um, you then get hold of some water, which is rather hard to do unless you keep your fingers together. <laughs> and you pour, oh dear, how many, how much are there? Three, three ounces and a knob of ice. And you pour that in, sorry, <laughs> gradually. Must be poured in gradually. <laughs> Did forget that just a moment. <laughs> It's a difficult point, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's like waiting in a restaurant. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to Walt Disney's restaurant, you know, in Disneyland. Has anybody ever been to Disneyland? Oh, isn't it a lovely place to queue for hours? <laughs> See so many people so many times. You know, you keep on passing them as they're standing en route, zigzagging in and out. Very good for the muscles. Keeps the, keep, keeps the American feeling strong. Go in and listen to Lincoln talking to you as a commercial for a, an insurance policy company, which is, I thought, rather nice, nice thought. And uh, what else did I enjoy about this? Oh, yes, standing interminably waiting for a table in the New Orleans room where there's a conveniently placed um, fountain which is trickling water all the time <laughs> that you're standing there and I'm sure they do that because you sort of you're standing in line like this you know and there's this fountain coming down and people are playing and girls you know in tulle walking around playing these violins you know that and and uh, 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 done for, uh, and all that sort of thing it's really quite fun and then of course eventually it gets to you and you leave your place in the queue and then you have to go back to the beginning again it's terrible. <laughs> 
That is cheese. That's a cheese pastry. You let it relax for a little bit in the oven and bring it out when it is done. One and a half? Thank you. I was engaged once to the All England shop putting champion. <laughs> Can you imagine how dangerous that is? No, really. This is remarkably cold. I don't think it's a good. <laughs> it's a no. It's a, it's a jolly. It's a jolly decent thing to do to to warm it up a little bit. You have to have warm hands to make bad pastry. However, if it's been in the refrigerator, your hand or the pastry. Um, then it's tricky. I keep this marble slab just in case I die. I make pastry on this side and I had the letters on the other side. But I was chiseled out of them. Now, half a minute. Well, I'm going to have a push. Have you ever seen, have you seen that new thing they're selling nowadays to take off inches around your waist? No, no, no. The wheel? Yes. <laughs> have you tried that? No. Oh, it's weird, it really is. You've got this wheel, like off the front wheel of a wheelbarrow. And you, you go like this, well look, can you follow me? It's like this. And, and you, you go up against the wall like that. And then you blow out. <laughs> For more than 50 years, she's brought the art and joy of cooking into our lives. Happy 90th birthday, Julia, from your friends at Food Network. Jenny's pretty down about missing the baseball game, huh? Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Ballpark Franks have a big hearty taste that's made for the outdoors. Being sad. Ballpark Franks, they plump when you cook them. This is the world of Tony Bourdain, where Tony takes you head first into a food experience you won't forget. I got nothing to lose. Welcome to Tony's World. A cook's tour. Join the adventure tonight at 9.30 on Food Network. What do I like about food? What is not to like? What I love about food. Food connects to everything. It really makes people happy. I got all my friends here anyhow. Good stories, good food, and good people. Good, good stuff. And we're going to see plenty of that. Oh, oh, oh. What I like about food is fun, information, and great food. I don't know, it's just darn entertaining. <laughs> A toaster is no substitute for a waffle maker, and no one wants to drag out the old waffle maker and then get stuck cleaning it up. Introducing the All-American Waffle Maker. Fresh, delicious homemade waffles are fast and easy. It even comes complete with four pounds of our foolproof waffle mix and pre-measured ladle. Just add water and pour the batter into the griddle. In less than a minute, out comes a perfect waffle. It's dishwasher safe and stores anywhere. There's even a free recipe book packed with exciting waffle creations. A traditional waffle breakfast, a grilled sandwich for lunch, a waffle burger, for dinner, an ice cream sandwich snack, or waffle s'mores over the campfire. And how about a waffle Sunday dessert? The complete all-American waffle making kit is just $19.99. We'll also include the waffle cone maker absolutely free. Place a waffle in and presto, a perfect waffle cone. You get the entire $75 value for just $19.99. Call now. Call 1-800-890-9922 to order your all-American waffle kit for just $19.99 plus shipping. Have your credit card or check ready and call now. Each end of this now rinsed and washed. <laughs> You're specially invited here as friends. <laughs> I don't expect friends to do that sort of thing, I really don't. Whop you right over the nut with this in a moment. <laughs> Not that sophisticated, you know. There is a moment in time with all of us when we get uptight. I'm singing in the rain, in the snow. I'm seeing there's a fly. Shall I drown it with flour? 
I don't know what I'm doing a program like this for. I'm a serious cook. <laughs> well, you're employed by this establishment. You know the hours that I put in here. You know it, don't you? And you. You know. All those hours. Sorry. All those hours. Way off into the night sometimes. <laughs> Incorrigible. I have two things that go on the end here. It doesn't work that well, but it keeps the pastry one sixteenth of an inch away from the marble slab. So you take them off. Why don't, why don't things go right for me? So? Just chat amongst yourselves. Switch over, the, 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 set, the, the other channel has Lassie. <laughs> Take an apple and a pair of sparkling eyes. It's an Arabian dish. Cut into the apple. Thank you very much, Donald. Donald has a very sophisticated sense of humor, even transcends my studio directors. <laughs> who only laughs at what people tell him from upstairs. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Take a piece of camembert. Camembert, darling. You can peel it. No. Um, you can peel it. Kirsch, Kirschwasser. Frightfully expensive liqueur, but you don't need much. 10 cc's, actually. <laughs> Right. There you are, Granny. How does that feel? Um, and, uh, that's a... Granny Smith apple. Um, just, just a small brush and some pastry. Um, <laughs> The rest of this program I shall do in mine. <laughs> and when I told them how beautiful I am, they'd never believe me. No, they'd never believe me. We must be over our four bars by now. Do you think that's public domain? I haven't ever been caught. Do you realize that if you sing over four bars, God save our... <laughs> if you sing gracious, you get clobbered. For, what do they call it? Royalties. They don't. That ro royalties. <laughs> oh, no. That's very clever. That you'll wind up on The Tonight Show one of these days, <laughs> conducting the orchestra. <laughs> so what you do is you tie it all up like that, like a package, and you straighten out the edges. Like that. <laughs> oh, aren't you pleased you join me? This is a dessert, ladies and gentlemen. You're just dessert. <laughs> Oh, 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 just do yourself up there. Right, fine. Now, now, just tighten it up there. Just cut that around the outside, now, please. Would you mind moving away, sir? Um, um, is that your wife? Well, there's no need to laugh about it, you know, and she looks very nice. Clean limb, decent sort of girl. Oh. No, don't pick it up, because you'll get into a lot of trouble if you do that. Now you roll it up in order to make a leaf. See? Like that. Now that's a leaf in autumn. <laughs> Under the wheels of your car, you just, no, smashed up in a puddle of mud. And that's just, a, it takes a great deal of experience to know how to do that. And you just wash that all over the top. A little salt in with the egg wash, please, because then it makes it come out all the more golden and beautiful. That's an apple leaf, you might notice. 
and I'll do a geranium leaf. <laughs> Would anybody like a nasturtium? <laughs> I can do blue bottles, blue bells. <laughs> Sorry, it was the fly that gave me the idea. Um, and there it is. Rather attractive, don't you think? Thank you all those people who just came in. That's very sweet of you. Um, how was the coffee in the canteen, all right? That's fine, good. How do you like our homemade ice cream that we pass around and the nuts? Oh, they're nice, aren't they? I love those nuts. Freshly roasted every evening for you. Pop it in there. Temperature 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And wait until it goes brown. Unlike these. Now, these are all right. Because you see, look, they've come together. Look, look, no, look. In there, it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can smell it from a mile off. By the way, the cheese that I put over the top was Emmentala with the holes in it. Thank you so much for being with me. I shall be with you in a nut. Be quiet. In a few seconds' time, in my salle à manger, which is French for dining room. Tonight on Food Network, Wolfgang's having fun with his good friend Julia Child. Not bad for two amateur cooks, see? When these culinary masters get together, there's no telling what they'll cook up. Wolfgang Pop, tonight at 9 on Food Network. Hi, Mary Beth Coit here for The Handy Stitch, the sewing solution for today that makes sewing fun, fast, and easy. The Handy Stitch uses the latest micro technology and actually fits in the palm of your hand. It does the jobs that conventional sewing machines can't, so you can sew anything, anywhere, at any time. It has the precision of a small machine to repair delicate fabrics like silk. It has the power of a big machine to sew through tough fabrics like denim. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, the Handy Stitch is for you. You can even do repairs while wearing your clothes. Repair a pocket without taking your pants off. Fix a fallen hem in the office in no time. Even use it for patching up outdoors. It's quick around corners and can add a decorative touch to all sorts of fabrics. You would never be able to sew draperies with a regular machine. The Handy Stitch is a portable sewing solution that makes life a little easier. It lets you put the professional touch on your home decorations and will pay for itself over and over. It gives you that genuine chain stitch, which means you get a secure, strong, and even stitch every time. It's battery powered or AC adapted so you can sew any fabric anywhere, anytime. Because of its compact size, it travels with you. The Handy Stitch can even be used outside to repair a flag or fix an awning. Regular machines are bulky and can cost over $500. Call now and you'll get the Handy Stitch complete with four threaded extra wide metal spools, the needle threader, and an extra spool pin for regular size thread. A $40 value for just $14.99. But call in the next five minutes and we'll also include this giant 64 piece thread and bobbin collection so you'll always have the right colored thread for any job. A $20 value, yours free. That means you get everything. The Handy Stitch, all the accessories, and the 64 piece thread and bobbin collection. An incredible $60 value, all for just $14.99. So call this number right now. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-219-7744. That's 1-800-219-7744. So call 1-800-219-7744 and order now. You're watching Food Network. A Food Network special. Kaga's Gone French. Cooking up a night of French battle. First up, Kitchen Stadium. Dream Team France versus Dream Team Chinese. Then the main event. The Iron Chefs in Bay, France. Taking on the world's best chefs. On their turf. Iron Chef 2000th Plate Special and the premiere of Iron Chef France Battle starting Sunday night at 7 on Food Network. At FoodTV.com, Food Network's Cooking School brings you Cooking 101, where you'll find how-to videos and delicious advice. Food Network Cooking School at FoodTV.com. If you cook it, he will come. We got a lot of places to visit, so stick around. It can only happen here. Emerald Salutes America, coming September 29th on Food Network. Thanks so much. Right. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, I happen to like apples with cheese. 
and that's why I thought of this idea. And I think if you drape the pastry over the outside in the same way as, uh, as I have done there, and this cheese pastry with apple and the kirsch, everything else, it's my own creation. A simple thing, very easy to accomplish, and the kirsch is really a little expensive, but honestly, 10 cc's goes an awful long way. Now you just cut through that crust and open it up and look at that lovely cheese sodden, kirsch sodden apple in the center there. Now that is, as you can see from the steam coming off it, a trifle hot. So you plunge it into the ice cold cream. Oh, you know, don't you? That is a most unusual flavour for those blokes, like me, who hate frothy <coughs> desserts. Give him a man's dish. God bless you. show before really? on television once on television once or twice you do that exceedingly well um, no no my daughter my daughter does it like that too she eats and goes hmm do you like that very much indeed it yes. is rather fun isn't Excellent. it yes for more information about this or other food network shows visit our website at foodtv.com <laughs>